the, the hardest thing to see is to see, um, you know, folks who could have been protected, you know, from the vaccine and could have survived, you know, to see them lost and to see the families that are now fragmented because of that. Um, that's tough. It's really tough to reconcile. The top doctor at Butler Health System says the Delta variant has taken its toll on those who have not been vaccinated. And tonight only on KDK, he's sending out the message about the toll COVID continues to take on his workers and the community. He spoke with Pam Serrano. In a candid interview with Dr. Dave Roddinghouse, he spoke to us about the bedside heroes, the critical struggle they're facing, a shortage of healthcare workers and the sick younger people who are unvaccinated. He says something that is largely preventable. Taking care of a uh, very sick uh, hospitalized COVID patient is a tremendous amount of work, you know, whether it's repositioning them, doing what's called proning them, which is putting them, you know, on their bellies and on their chest, because it helps with the pneumonia, it helps them oxygenate, uh, you know, respiratory treatments, uh, you know, patients that are in the ICU. Dr. Dave Roddinghouse, Chief Medical Officer with Butler Health System, says what's happening there is happening around the region and country. There's a significant staffing shortage. We think some people decided to leave the bedside for that reason. Um, other people took early retirement. You know, other folks, um, you know, just have not returned and not always sure why. Uh, but, you know, there's certainly been an exodus from healthcare. Dr. Roddinghouse says that means less nurses, respiratory techs, less people to take care of those patients as compared to this time last year. And there are emergent and emergency needs as well, surgeries that can't be done. Right now, you know, it feels pretty bleak as, you know, waits in ERs and boarding in ERs, patients being held in there because there's not beds. Um, you know, other care is 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 being compromised right now. 80 to 90 percent of the COVID admissions are unvaccinated, according to the health system. Dr. Roddinghouse says the very sick are also younger, something less common than it was a year ago. Our ICU is, is uh, you know, packed routinely with people in their 40s and in their 50s, uh, almost all of them unvaccinated. The people that, you know, we've lost and, um, you know, can't get better who are in their 30s and 40s um, are unvaccinated. You know, some of the susceptible groups now are, you know, young pregnant women. Um, you know, there's a lot of young pregnant women that are becoming very ill and even in the postpartum phase. Dr. Roddinghouse says there are more people infected now and more people becoming seriously ill. Clearly the best way for people to protect themselves is, is to be vaccinated. Dr. Roddinghouse says Butler Health System is continuing to provide counseling, grief, and spiritual support for staff, but he says he's worried about them. And now in the morning and in the evenings in the parking lot of Butler Memorial Hospital, you'll routinely find people holding a vigil for people who are sick and those taking care of them. Pam Serrano, KDKA News.